It's Project Cargo Professionals. We're in Singapore for Transport and Logistic and here with Kochi Kaizu from JGC, visiting from Tokyo. Thank you very much for dropping by. Thank you very much for your invitation. Kochi, tell us a bit about your role uh, within JGC, obviously a big EPC organization, and tell us what, uh, why you came to Singapore. Yeah, uh, my role no change since the last time I met you. Uh, I take a role of a subject matter expert uh, for module transportation and logistics in JGC. And the purpose of my visit to Singapore this time is to attend uh, this uh, conference as main speaker. I have a program to introduce my experience this Friday. Okay, and uh, as a company, uh, you guys have done a lot of oil and gas projects traditionally, but also now energy transition. So tell us how that looks now, and what are the different logistics challenges that you have in the markets that you operate in? Yeah, right now, as you know, is, uh, globally, is, uh, we, we have a shift to the renewable is, uh, energy, like uh, green energy. However, due to some uh, geopolitical uh, tension, uh, uh, we still have uh, yeah, uh, believe uh, LNG uh, will uh, uh, serve main uh, uh, transition energy for the next decade. And uh, yeah, we JDC has a strong presence in LNG markets. So we have a lot of uh, demand from our uh, client to uh, perform LNG uh, project globally. And LNG projects are a big part of your business. Yeah, uh, right now it's a uh, biggest that is a portfolio uh, in my company. Okay, and we hear a lot from other shippers worldwide uh, about a huge demand uh, that's led by AI, data centers, and all the infrastructure that goes along with that. How does that look in this region, in APAC? Yeah, uh, unfortunately, that is, uh, we are not uh, deeply involved in uh, data center that is, uh, construction. Rather, that is a uh, general constructor. Uh, they are stronger than us. Because uh, we are engineering firm, and the data center, perhaps uh, less engineering at uh, yeah, uh, the So, yeah. So as a company, it's not something you've been deeply involved with? Yeah, right now, at the data center, we are not deeply involved. Okay, but you did recently announce the launch of a new joint venture EPC brand, which perhaps is going to go into that market. Tell us a bit about the new company. Correct. Uh, because of that, we have at the less at the involvement so far uh, for that at the segment. Uh, we wanted to strengthen our at the next portfolio uh, to uh, deeply involve the uh, data center or AI at the business. So uh, we had to have a joint venture uh, with Excite, and uh, we have at the uh, launched a new brand, Nixite. Nixite. Okay, and how far along are you with that project? Uh, we have a strong uh, uh, capability to manage the project. Excite has a strong uh, presence in the high technology uh, industry. And uh, the, uh, our uh, intention or attention is to merge both strengths. And uh, uh, yeah, Excite, they can gain our EPC project management capability. We, JDC, can gain they have a strong presence in the uh, high technology that is, uh, industry. And is it already operational? Where are you on the rollout? Uh, we, 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 we established that as a joint venture that is a company in Singapore. So mainly that is a, we focus on Southeast Asia countries. But it's already operational? It started business already? It's just started. Okay. It's just started. But uh, all that is a uh, prime member has been already assigned and mobilized. Okay. And you were telling me that a big part of your role is about uh, logistics simulation. So talk a bit about that and why that's such an important thing to be doing. Since uh, we normally have a hundred uh, LNG project, uh, the scale-wise, uh, it's a significant uh, it's a large. So uh, we need uh, a certain uh, simulation exercise just before we enter into the physical execution. On the simulation, it's kind of the virtual world. We can test many uh, what-if scenario without any damage to us or impact to the cost. So that's kind of a project that you've been leading or? We are leading, yes, because we have in-house technique uh, to develop what is a simulation model for the logistic supply chain. And uh, each project, we at the build a model and test what is a simulation to get what is the most feasible at the, uh, solution. Okay. 
And as a business, how has your order book changed in the last 18 or 24 months? Uh, we are now have the focusing on hydrogen, ammonia, and the nuclear power plant. Nuclear power plant is not a conventional power plant. It's a kind of the new technology we are developing with US company, so-called SMR, small modularized reactor nuclear power plant. Yeah. And which parts of the world are you going to be increasingly looking at? Right now, we focus on US. US. That, uh, yeah, uh, due to the, the uh, election, after the election, the stream is slightly changed. Uh, now, <laughs> the, yeah, the uh, business is uh, uh, almost uh, suspended. Okay. And talk to us a bit about the logistics service providers that you work with and what's your attitude and your outlook and what are the qualities that you're looking for? Yeah, of course, was the quality, capability, capacity. Those are very important to select that as our partner. But uh, on top of that, uh, we really respect trust and accountability. That is, uh, is a definite unnecessary. This is, uh, is a mandatory that is required to continue our long-term relationship with our partner. And are there any capacity issues that you're struggling with, or can you generally find the services that you need at the moment? Inside the JDC, we are really short. We are really had a folk, uh, uh, facing a shortage of uh, our capable engineers. In-house engineers. Yeah, in-house yeah. engineers. We recruit uh, more than 100 engineers every year, but you know, the graduated engineer become a uh, uh, senior engineer or yeah. the leader, lead engineer take out uh, 10 or 15 years. So the senior people are retiring and the youngsters are not coming through quick enough. I think uh, it's not just the JGC only, but uh, every hat is a uh, similar type of the company facing on the uh, current uh, senior people uh, will generation uh, will uh, retire yeah. very soon. And lastly, uh, what advice would you give for logistics companies that would like to do some business with JGC? What tips can you give them for, for breaking in? Um, I think still it's a, it's a business between human and human or people and people. It's not by AI. <laughs> so, we really respect that is a communication and dialogue before that is a we enter into real business. So come and meet you, come and say hello at Singapore. Yeah, thank you very much. Thanks very much, Kochi. Thank you.